Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? It's Frilici Friday. I am Amy Frilici and we are going to have some fun today, ladies. So today we are going to be playing with, this is super duper cute, scenic pumpkin stamp set. So you can see all the fun imagery, no sentiments in here, but look at all of the fun that you can have creating lots and lots of fun kind of fall pumpkin patch scenes right with this stamp set so I'm hoping things go well my one thought is I was like uh, in the shower this morning thinking you know the camera is right about where my head normally will be so we'll see how the stamping goes um, so give me some grace if I'm a little off it's because I can't quite see where I normally would be able to but like I said we're gonna have lots of fun with this stamp set hello Miss Teresa thanks so much for joining us uh, let's see a couple reminders well first of all can Kathy, hello and welcome. We have a new holiday mini catalog. So this um, available for customers starting on September 4th. You can order out of our new holiday mini catalog. If you do not have one of these super cute catalogs and you'll see these fun little houses right here, there's a stamp set and a punch that create these images also. So don't have it yet, but it's definitely on my wish list um, because it's something different that we haven't had before, right? With that cute little house with the little chimney and all the fun little kind of items that you can add to it to decorate your house, right? So if you don't have one of these, um, I did mail them out to people. So if you don't get one, if you still need one, let me know. I'm not exactly sure of timing. So when I say I mailed them out, I actually um, put customers' names on a list and had Stampin' Up! ship them. And so I trying to think I probably could look online and see because I'm not exactly sure when those get shipped out so if you need one though let me know okay and I'll double check and if Stampin' Up! didn't get one to you I will get one to you okay so let me know on that also a couple of other quick reminders too we are what August 23rd so we got a little over a week uh next Friday next Saturday excuse me is the end of the month so August 31st so two things designer series paper sale is going on for the annual catalog through the end of August. So next Saturday is your last day to take advantage of that 15% discount on your designer series paper. And then second reminder is bonus day coupons. Any of those coupons that you earned in July, you have until the end of August. So again, next Saturday to use those bonus day coupons. Okay. So just don't forget, make sure you do that because um, you don't want to lose like, right, those fun discounts. Um, all right. I think yeah, I was going to show you. So I have holiday mini catalog designer series paper. So I will mention to you now that I am doing a designer series paper share, but I thought I want to show you guys all the pretty paper, um, not backwards, right? So when we flip the camera down, I'm going to show you each pack of paper. Um, there's only one that I have that yeah, we, as demonstrators right now we can pre-order, but we can only get um, like two packages of what they call consuma consumable items. And so I got those um, and gave them to everybody at bingo last week so there's one package that I don't have but um, it's super cute I promise um, that's probably one of my favorite papers in the holiday mini catalog that's why I got it and gave it to everybody at bingo last week but I have all of the other paper and some pretty gems to share with you guys um, as part of that holiday mini catalog paper share I will tell you so there are 10 different packs of paper in the holiday mini catalog it is $38 to get a quarter of a pack of the paper so that's a 6 by 12 piece of design designer series paper or a six by six if that's how they come. Um, so you get a front and back of every single paper in the holiday mini catalog and then you actually get um, half a pack of they are the regal foil adhesive backed dots. Um, I'll show you those. They actually got a little wonky in shipment so kind of just disregard that but they're a beautiful so regal right part of the regal flora suite um, beautiful foil um, again what are they called the regal foil that he said back gems so they're just kind of regal colors right our um, regals um, color collection is what those are included on there so I'll show you guys though like I said that designer series paper in just a little bit um, I would say let's go ahead we're going to do our first drawing so you guys know we have um, this is what we're going to give away I love these dots so they're the clear and pecan pie ribboned dots super if you get really close you can kind of see there's like little wavy patterns through them um, that kind of look like ribbons in the dots so 
as always, your name is in my little basket right here. If you shared our last Facebook Live video, one entry for sharing to your personal profile, five entries if you share it to a group that you're a part of. Um, if, for ev if ever you go to share this video and um, you can't, there's not a share button, there's another button called send and if you use that you can follow the steps um, to actually share it to your Facebook profile or a group that way too because that was a little bit confusing for people. Where's the share button? Sometimes it's not always there. So also if you uh, share a picture of a project that you made right here to our Facebook group or if you commented on my random post that I pick, your name is in here. And then last way is if you sign up for my email list. Okay, so I'm gonna shake these around and let's see who is the lucky winner today, right? Feels weird being back like right after last week. Usually I'm kind of every other week. So yeah, it's like kind of crazy. I'm like, didn't I just do Facebook Live? But yeah, I've got fun stuff to show you guys. Okay, so let's see. Winner, winner is, oh, Miss Deb Northrup. All right, congratulations, Deb. She does a wonderful job of sharing projects that she's made. She's always got orders from friends and family um, for birthday cards, sympathy cards, lots of different cards that she creates. So she's always sharing those with us, and then she gets her name in the drawing. So congratulations, Miss Deb. You are the lucky winner of those pecan pie and clear ribbon to dots. So I will put those out on the board for you. All right. So on our next Facebook Live, which is actually going to be two weeks from today, uh, let's see. Oh, because next Friday is my daughter Lily's birthday. She is turning 20, right? Because it's 2004. She was born in 04. I'm like, <laughs> let me make sure I'm doing the math on that. Yeah. So Lily, my daughter, um, away at college, but we're going to go hang out with her on Friday for her birthday. Um, and so no Facebook Live next Friday, but we'll be back again the beginning of September. So I think that puts it at September 6th. We will um, be back again live. So two weeks from today. And what will we be giving away? Ladies, let's see. We have, these are called the Basic Gray and Smoky Slate Pearls. So beautiful kind of, um, well, gray, basic gray and smoky slate. Beautiful set of pearls. So they've got the lighter and the darker and then kind of in smaller and larger, um, but beautiful. I think these are gonna be perfect for holiday projects. That's what I'm really excited about using these for. So again, share the Facebook Live. Nikki, hello, I haven't seen your name pop up here in a while. So hello and welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, okay, so yes, name in the drawing, share this Facebook Live video, sign up for my email list, uh, post a picture of a project you've made or comment like crazy on Facebook posts right here because I pick one random post and anybody that commented on that post, you could win these beautiful basic gray and smoky slate pearls. I have to keep like squinting and looking at the name because you know, they put it in really small print, right? I know that's backwards, but it's tough to read, isn't it? Okay, so that's what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. Um, oh, okay, so we had our team meeting, our Inspired Stampers team meeting this week. And I wanna share with you guys all of the fun things that we did at our team meeting. Quick sip of water though. Um, okay, so let me show you guys. Let's talk about make and takes first of all. So maybe a couple of weeks ago, I used the Changing Leaves bundle right here on Facebook Live. And we also used the Changing Leaves bundle on our make and take. So let me show you. Here is our first make and take. They also featured our 2023-25 in colors, so here is copper clay with the beautiful sentiment, right? It says, a little note to brighten your day. And then you can see, so the dies you can emboss and die cut all at the same time. That's what kind of that copper clay, if you guys can see, the embossed leaf there. So emboss and die cut all at once, and then other leaves that you can stamp and cut, right? So there's one of the make and takes. You'll also maybe notice everybody got um, two yards of where, oh, it's not, I thought I put it up there. Um, you know what, I think we're gonna use it too. Maybe that's why it's not up there, right? Yeah, we're gonna use it on one of our projects. Where is it? Yeah, okay, so this is, <laughs> <laughs> so um, a little note to share with you guys. My um, boyfriend, Mike, is out in the other room and I told him, you can't listen. You need to go on an hour long walk with the dogs, but he's in there like, um, yeah, 
making faces at me right now <laughs> as I'm doing this. So I don't normally like anybody to be around to hear me doing this. So I'm trying to be as regular and natural as I can. Um, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. But anyway, so this is our ribbon, the polka dot. Um, oh, coming to say hi. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, so he said he was going to sneak in and say hello at some point. So I'm like, you should just maybe do it in the beginning so we can get it over with. So, all right, yeah. So whenever I say hello to Mike, that's who that is. So he's a working um, up front in the house right now. So I think like working, right, in quotes. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is the polka dot. So this is a natural polka dot ribbon. So what we did, and I'm actually going to show you guys this on our um, projects that we're going to make today. Um, but let's see. I want to see. It's funny. I feel like I'm not seeing comments and things. Either that or you guys are being really quiet. So somebody say hello or make a comment so I make sure that things are actually working on here today. Um, but yeah, so you can cut the little end off here and then pull these like little strands or strips of ribbon. And if you look super closely, can you see there are little polka dots on that twine so it's not the linen thread it's actually this a ribbon hello miss candy and welcome so we pulled this apart and then used a couple of strands and tied a bow so again can you kind of there you can kind of see the polka dots right so kind of a fun little alternative there more substantial i would say this twine is um than like our linen thread so Okay, so that was one of our make and takes. Here's another beautiful one, right? So we used, this is boho blue and wild wheat are the colors and used kind of our water painters, the aqua painters, draw a, a little bit of ink from the lid of the ink pad. And then I just kind of splotched it around on. So this is the, can you guys tell that? This white paper right here, if I get close enough, can you see? Um, this is the white, the wood textured paper, and then we die cut a leaf and then put those pretty kind of splashes of color on there. Use some ribbon and then the sentiment, I couldn't have done it without you. So another beautiful card. So that was our second make and take from our team meeting. This is their third make and take, same kind of idea. What was kind of fun, you see this is the pebbled path layer. We punched a circle out, so it's kind of peeking out from behind our white wood textured paper, did some stamping and die cutting these. That label and that leaf are both in the changing leaves stamp set. Miss Vina, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. And then um, more of the textured leaves that we die cut and embossed with that changing leaves embossing folder and dies. Then lastly, here is our final make and take. So again, more um, of that polka dot linen thread that we pulled apart. We've got our stamping and die cutting, kind of all parts, right? So stamp, die cut, just die cut on those basic beige leaves, and then our moody mauve leaf, we die cut and embossed. And then we also, if you've been noticing, we use some of the 2023, 25 in color dots on these projects. So beautiful make and takes that we do every single month through our team meeting. Even if you are long distance, you can participate in the make and takes. I will ship them to you, show you how to make them on our team Facebook Live, and then um, you can still be a part of things even if you're long distance. So if you've ever thought about getting the starter kit, I just know they're going to have another awesome deal coming up. I'm thinking it's going to be beginning of September. We'll see. That's my prediction. So not too long, right? What, like 10 days or so? Um, don't hold me to it, but that's what I'm thinking. So anyway, and it's always a great deal, right? You always get to pick $125 in product and pay only $99 plus shipping. So you could get that awesome starter kit deal and then be a part of our Inspired Stampers team and get these awesome make and takes every month. In addition, you also get to participate. We do something called a mystery project each month at our team meeting. So I give you kind of all of the dimensions of everything that you're going to use to make your mystery project, but I don't actually show it to you until we th we're there at our team meeting. Um, and if you actually participate and post a picture of your mystery project to our Facebook group, then you also get entries into our Inspired Stampers team drawing where we give away lots of fun stuff. So this was my mystery project that I made. So it features some of that green 
and gold designer series paper, the Christmas paper that's part of our online exclusives. I think it's not orderable just yet, um, but it'll be back because it's beautiful. And then this is the Artful Amaryllis stamp set, which is another beautiful stamp set, right? And the sentiment says, wishing you a bright and beautiful Christmas. And then some of our very vanilla satin ribbon we use there also. So beautiful project there. I also send, oh, top five sales cards, which I forgot to keep one to show you guys. Uh, but anybody that is in my top five in terms of sales each month, I send them a um, beautiful card to say, congratulations, you're number one in sales or number two, three, four, five. And actually, if they sell over $600 in the month, they also get a fun, what I call the $600 club prize. So this month, they all received, these are called the <laughs> transparent adhesive backed dots. So everybody got a fun little prize. The other cool thing is when you sell more than $600 in a month, Stampin' Up! actually pays you an additional commission. So basically, more money in your pocket for those higher sales. So hello, Miss Susan. And then finally, one of the other fun things that we do at our team meetings is we swap with each other. So again, even if you're long distance, you can make your swaps and mail them to me. I swap them around with everybody at our team meeting and mail them back to you. So here are examples of some of our swaps from our team meeting. So this was from Jen Ledley down in Ohio. Used that beautiful, a little latte suite. Isn't that gorgeous? And then actually she is some of that polka dot, um, natural polka dot ribbon that is a part of this suite also. So this is part of online exclusives too, in case you're wondering, where's this paper, stamp set, dies, ribbon? It's all in those online exclusives. And this was a card made by uh, Carla Dilly. So this is super cute, isn't it? I love, so she did, I think she used, no, actually she embossed. So there is actually a crumb cake piece that is textured. I think it kind of looks like linen. I was thinking that was it. It's a little bit hard to tell in the package, but actually I think this is crumb cake cardstock that she embossed. And then some of that wild, wildly flowering, I think, designer series paper. Just a beautiful thank you card there. And then this one is from Sunday Ostrander. And I think she actually showed us there was something kind of fun about this fold on this card. So we got to open this up so I can show you guys this one. So I think, oops. Yeah, so this little piece of designer series paper kind of, I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, I rip it, I guess I should say. It tucks behind that circle and then you can open it up. So isn't that cute, right? So again, this piece kind of tucks right back behind there. Yeah. So there we go. So fun little, have a lovely day. And I have not, these are, I think the, oh gosh, what are those called? I got to look at the name of them because they're right here actually. The Everyday Details dies. So I love how she did that. Actually die cut the designer series paper there too. Isn't that cool? And then we've got the sentiment right there also. All right. Then lastly, and I think I showed you guys this one last week because this was Jamie Sanders' swap card using the iconic imagery stamp set and dies and then the iconic celebrations designer series paper because I loved, not that I didn't love the other cards, but this one I was like, oh, I want to show everybody at Bingo how to make this card and you, because I had all the products too, right? So we actually made this card at Bingo last week. So, oh, and there's Stormy saying hi. Somebody must be walking by. He's, you know... What is he doing? He is um, protecting the hood around here, right? <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. I'm going to scoot these guys out of the way. And are we ready? Oh, couple more quick announcements. Um, just to remind you guys, customer appreciation event. I want to say thank you to you guys. Love doing this. Usually early September. So this year we are doing this on Thursday, September 12, right here locally in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church from 6 to 9 p.m. So I have fun make and takes for everybody, cute little treats and prizes for everybody. Um, what else? Well, we'll have the mini the holiday mini catalogs there. Uh, buy one, get one free sale. So I'd love for you to join us if you're in the area or come on up, come on down wherever you are. Come see us, come hang out with us. Again, that is Thursday, September 12th from 6 to 9 p.m. Okay. Um, all right. I think we are about ready to flip the camera down because I actually didn't have any online orders last week. So I had 
uh, plan to give away. These are the Frosted Forest Decorative Masks, but those are gonna go back in the goodie bag pile to be given away at another point. Um, what will I, I will show you guys though. So actually on our next Facebook Live two weeks from now, if you order online through me, you will get a chance to win the Inspiring Snapdragons stamp set. Beautiful set of, um, well, stamps, right? Featuring the Snapdragons and then great sentiments like, so sorry, wishing you strength and inspired by you. So just some kind of different sentiments that maybe um, you might not have in your stamp collection, right? And then those beautiful Snapdragons too. So again, order online through me. I'll give you the host code. Your name will go in the drawing to win the inspiring Snapdragon stamp set, okay? Um... All right, yeah, I'll show you the other stuff in just a little while. Okay, so let's scoot these things out of the way. So yeah, uh, okay, let me do a quick double check and make sure. But I think, um, oh, also just quick reminders, Simple Beautiful Card Class is normally the second Friday of the month, but that's actually my birthday on Friday, September 13th. So no class that day, because Mike and I are heading up to Mackinac Island. I've already told him what a great, amazing time we're gonna have. Um, I love that island. So we're gonna have lots and lots of fun. So just wishing um, and hoping for uh, good weather that weekend too. But so anyway, my point is we're gonna have Simple Beautiful Card Class on the first Friday in September. So that's gonna be Friday, September 6th, 1 to 3 p.m. right here in Alma. And then also Scrapbook Class is the last Tuesday of every month. So it's coming up this week on Tuesday. Um, RSVPs are already kind of come and gone for that one. But our next scrapbook class is at the end of September, last Tuesday on September 24th. So if you're interested, let me know if you'd like to join us. Okay, I am going to kind of clean things off here. And I want to show you guys all of this beautiful paper. Okay, we're going to do that one first. I'm actually doing a pretty good job here today, ladies. I'm not quite as um, <laughs> craft o what is it? I wanna say, I'm saying craft o rama because actually I went and hung out with my friends that I do craft o rama with um, last weekend, which was lots of fun. We were up north in Petoskey. I think I was telling you guys about that. Kind of, well, it was supposed to be really bad weather all weekend long, and it actually turned out to be much better than anticipated. Still not too sunny, but warmer and not as rainy, and there was no hail. They talked about hail last Friday, and thank goodness we did not have any hail. So yeah, we had a great time. Oh, actually, I should show you guys. Here are <laughs> some cute little things. So Melissa, who hosted us at her cottage in Petoskey, made this cute little um, gifty bag. So it was funny because she said, um, well, let's see. What does this even say? Now i got to put my glasses on because I can't read it very well. But it's a fun little, I don't know, wine glass, I'm going to say. And it says, ah, oh, that's so cute. Wine tastes better at the lake. So if you guys can see that little that's what that says right there and there's obviously a little picture of a lake and so hello Lori welcome welcome uh so then she said well I had this shreddy and I thought it looked like calypso coral so she made a cute little tag and then she thought the little wine glass looked an awful lot like pretty peacock so how fun right she used those everyday details dies too and it says just for you right so cute simple tag with some white ribbon so how fun right to just dress that up very simply um simple but beautiful right packaging on that fun little wine glass and then <laughs> so if you guys can imagine here i got to put this back in here because she gave us these um little like headband things and I, I think, do you guys know this? I really kind of love peeps like at um, Easter time. So when we first walked in, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, she had this laying on the table and I glanced at it quickly. And if, if it kind of lays down and you like glance quickly, it looked like there were peeps in here. <laughs> so turned out, no, not peeps. Um, Cause you know, I love, I have a huge sweet tooth also. Uh, but it actually is a little spa solutions, like a little headband, right? So. 
I don't think I'm actually gonna put it on my head, but you get the idea, right? So if you're gonna wash your face, you put this on and it's so soft, right? So, <laughs> and it's got a cute little um, little thingy on it. She had, they were all different ones. So she gave another one that had like a big bow on it too. It was like pink with a big bow. So yeah, um, we joked about how we we're gonna <laughs> wear these out. We did not, but very super soft and cute and fun. So that was very sweet. Um, oh, and then actually I'll have to show you guys too, right? So she, again, just added a little belly band and a fun sentiment. Um, so that's that Lavender Designer Series paper, right? And the sentiment, wishing you everything wonderful with some little gems and some linen thread. So, so cute how you can just kind of fancy up little gifts very easily with our products. Okay, now we are ready. We are going to flip the camera down. Okay, so turn your heads away for a moment. We are going to fly through the area as you, or air, not the area, <laughs> fly through the air. Okay, and I'm going to show you that is, I thought I had this tightened. I checked it last night, and sometimes it just kind of has a mind of its own. Okay, so let's see, we're going to do that. Got my glasses. Okay, so here is our holiday catalog paper share, the kind of list. So 10 different designer series papers, $38, $10 if you need it shipped to you. And you get a half a package of the Regal Foil Adhesive Backed Dots. So here, just pretend there's your half a package. I promise I'll make sure they're not all wonky. The ones, well, hopefully they don't get wonky on their shipment to you either, right? I'm going to say maybe Blackberry Bliss, Pretty Peacock, and some kind of pinky red there too, but you can kind of see, right? Sorry, those are just kind of a mess, aren't they? But I want you guys to see the little foil, right? So again, these are the Regal Foiled Adhesive Backed Dots. So featuring some of our Regal colors right there, right? Okay, so that's your little freebie, right? For ordering the paper share. Okay, I am, I'm gonna keep my list right here so I know the names of everything. And we are gonna just kind of open these up and flip through them. So this is called the Splendid Autumn Designer Series Paper. So we, let's see, we'll kind of show you front and back of each of these, right? Beautiful, huh? Right, so we've got lots of, I don't know, kind of fall scenes and then just some kind of really like, oh, look at that, like walking. It's kind of like an evening time stroll through the park, right? Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, that one's gorgeous too like a fall sunset. Oh my gosh, this paper is just gorgeous. And then you can see all the pretties on the back too. So just um, kind of washed, right? A washed look on the back. Oh, there's another one, like a little country road, right? With some beautiful fall colors. And then another pretty meadow. Oh, that might be my favorite, the sunflowers right there, right? Oh, but that's beautiful too. <laughs> this happens sometimes, right? I have not flipped through. And you guys, can you see all the beautiful colors on the backside of these also? Hello, Miss Linda. Welcome, welcome. And then there's another one. Oh, that's beautiful too. Kind of like wheat stalks almost, right? So gorgeous, right? And then there's the backside. So again, you'll get one of each of those pieces of paper in your paper share. Okay, we're going to just kind of stack these up back here. Then... So six by six, both of these are. I do have this open. This one is called the Take Take a Bow. Instead of Take a Bow, it's Take a Bow. This paper looks super duper cute. So we're actually going to get two sheets of each of these, it looks like, because this, it's only four different front and back patterns, right? But oh, love that little plaid, right? Super cute. Very traditional kind of red and green Christmas colors. I'm going to say garden green and maybe poppy parade. Garden green, granny apple green. Oh, it is real red. Okay, it looked a little bit brighter. Okay, so there's the front. Ooh, polka dots, so cute. Look at that. Love that also. Then here's another little stack. There we go. Oh, it's like peppermint stripes, right? And then some more kind of diagonal red and green stripes. <gasps> you guys, that paper is really, really cute. Okay, that might be my favorite. We're going to have lots of fun. I'm picturing lots of cute like treat ideas made with that designer series paper. So that one, you'll get two sheets of each of those because it's half as many patterns, I would say. Okay, next we have, this is the Sentimental Christmas designer series paper. So we were actually checking this paper out at our um, team meeting the other night because Sunday 
one of our team members made a, her mystery project actually she made with this paper and so she was showing it to us and it is so it's very I, I don't know it kind of it, like it says sentimental Christmas right so it's kind of got I don't know can I say olden days kind of an olden days feel and I say that in the most loving way not in like a hokey pokey way right <laughs> So beautiful Christmas trees and presents. Look at the beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Ooh, and I always love stripes, right? Like that. Oh, that's going to be my favorite pattern in that one. Right? And then here's front and back side of this one. So, ooh, check that out. Like a full frame, right? So again, for all of these 12 by 12 pieces, you're going to, I'm going to cut everything in half and everybody's going to get one quarter. So you're going to get a six by 12 piece of each of these patterns. More stripes. Love those, right? That would be pretty together like that, right? And then here's the front and back side of, the, oh, Look at, that's like a scrapbook page right there. Put a couple pictures and you have a beautiful scrapbook page. Okay, already thinking about what I'm gonna do with that one, right? Okay, so again, Sentimental Christmas is that one. Next, what do we have? Hi, Storm, hanging out with me here. Okay, this is called the Season of Elegance Specialty Designer Series Paper. So let's see this one. Ooh, look at all that beautiful gold foil. So again, this is part of the paper share. Get a six by 12 piece. If any of this is something that you know that you love and want a full package of, you will be able to order it starting on September 4th, which is actually my mom's birthday. So I should be able to remember that, right? Oh, that is beautiful also. Look at all of that. Oh, there's just something so, that red. I'm gonna say that's cherry cobbler, right? But check out all, all the gold foil. This is gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And that blue, what is this color? Now I need to know, right? Colors in this pack are basic beige, cherry cobbler, crumb cake, gray granite. Ooh, that's lost lagoon maybe? No, it's pretty peacock. Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Pretty Peacock, Real Red, and Gold. Okay, I see. So they're kind of putting, they're saying like probably Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. Yeah, because then here, like that's probably like Lost Lagoon right there, right? Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous, ladies. Love that paper. And it's funny because in the catalog, I didn't, I couldn't get the full effect of that one. I would say I my friend Stacy said, oh yeah, I love that. I can't wait to get that. And I was like, oh, okay. Not really understanding, but now I get it. Okay. Reindeer days. That is our next package. Look at all these cute little reindeer. Oh my goodness. Look at those presents. Okay. That's super duper cute. Okay. And then cute little reindeer. And then some holly and berries, right? More little jumping reindeer. Oh, that one's so cute too. These traditional, oh my gosh, you guys getting really excited about making Christmas projects now. Look at that. Love that one also. And then some more deer in the forest. This one looks like something that we've had similar, right? Um, maybe in last year's, one of last year's Pex paper, right? Oh, and then some little red bells. That's beautiful too. Love that paper also. Okay, what else? Next we have some uh, nests of winter is what this one is called, right? Uh, that's going to go this way. Yep, maybe I opened it upside down. Okay, so some beautiful birds there. Pool party there. What are you guys thinking? Are you liking this paper? There's a lot of gorgeous paper. Okay, and then some just kind of good, um, maybe a little bit more neutral on the back side of these. That's beautiful also. I can see some... Ooh, check that out with all the like the white birch trees. That's beautiful too. And then some more birdies, some winter birdies, I would say, right? Okay. And is that kind of cottonwood? And then some white birch paper there too. That's beautiful also, especially if you love birds, right? Okay. Next we have, what are we looking at? Um, this one is the, hmm, is it the Regal Distressed? Yeah, or the Regal Winter, sorry, Regal Winter Designer Series paper, because I already showed you a couple of them are the six by six papers. So I, I did skip around a little bit, which, you know, kind of confused me. Okay. Ooh, look at that. That is gorgeous, right? And that, like, it almost like jumps off the page. It seems like that one is beautiful too, right? Ooh, that pretty peacock. Look at those together, right? 
Oh my goodness. This is, again, what is this one called? Regal Winter. This is absolutely gorgeous. And again, maybe not something that I would have first been drawn to, but all of these beautiful, deep, regal, wintry colors are just gorgeous. How about that one too, right? Miss Deb, hello and welcome. Okay, that one is beautiful too. And again, a quarter of a pack of each of these papers is what you will receive in your paper share. Okay, this is the festive 12 by 12 glimmer paper featuring, ooh, cherry cobbler, garden green, and granny apple green. Okay, let's see, I'll get this one open. What are these? Well, Miss Peggy, hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so again, what did I say? This one is, it looks more real red to me, but they're calling that cherry cobbler. Okay, so again, you're going to get a six by 12 piece of woohoo. Check that out, right? Okay, and then here is our garden green glimmer paper. That is beautiful also. <laughs> and then the granny apple green. Super fun. That one almost looks, that was pretty bright. Almost looks like a parakeet party or lemon lime twist i guess is one of our colors now right parakeet party is retired okay and then lastly regal distressed patterns paper i will tell you there is a snowy scenes designer series paper that has um snowmen um super duper cute i don't have that because i already gave it away um but just know that you will get that paper in your paper share also okay so let's see yeah this one doesn't have anything on the back side so this one you're gonna get one sheet of each of these so i'm gonna cut this one in half but again so it's kind of got a gold stripe to it right and then this one is going to be cherry cobbler i'm gonna say we'll do a verification of this and i feel like that is probably pretty peacock but check that out too that is beautiful let's double check on that right so ba oh basic beige cherry cobbler and pretty peacock okay i would not have said that was basic beige it looks pretty white to me but beautiful huh okay so again paper share quarter of a pack six by twelve of all the twelve by twelve pieces or six by six pieces if that's how it comes you get a quarter of a pack of each of those packs of paper in the paper share it's thirty eight dollars ten dollars if you need it shipped to you you again are going to get a half a package of my goal or regal foiled adhesive back dots the first paper share order is going to go in on september 4th because that's the first day we can order in full as soon as i have four people which i think i already do have each time I have a group of four, I'll say, right? I'm going to put a paper share order in, and then as soon as I get it and cut it, I will ship it out to you. The final paper share order will go in on Monday, September 30th, and I will ship them out no later than Wednesday, October 9th. Um, but if you put your name in earlier and I get four people, as soon as I get those four, I'll put the order in and get it out to you. So no waiting, okay? So let me know if you're interested. I will... Um, post the link for that too so that you can hop on and um, join our paper share as well okay are you guys ready to do some stamping i'm going to show you here's my host code for now in the next two weeks so the jmsbwhbs is what you're going to want to use if you order online through me to get your name in the drawing let's talk about that real quick right so the inspiring snapdragon stamp set you will get your name in the drawing for that you also get to pick from the free embellishment for August, which are, these are the 2023, 2025 in color dots. So pick from the free embellishment or the demo design dream team PDF tutorial, 16 projects. This is my project in here. Lots and lots of beautiful detail, step-by-step -step, how to create all these projects. So pick from either one of these. You also are gonna get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a sec. And if you bump your order up to $100, you also get five additional handmade cards from me. So look at all of that free stuff for ordering. So thank you so much. I appreciate your orders. And I, yeah, that's what keeps me going on Facebook Live, ladies, is to uh, put those orders in. So make sure you do that. Get your wish list ready for that. Excuse me, the holiday mini catalog coming up on September 4th, too. <coughs> okay. Water, mint. I can already feel that little catch in my throat. Okay. Let's do some stamping, ladies. Again, we have the, oops, there it is. Not in view, right? So you know what I need to do? I do need to move this around a little bit, don't I? 
so that I know there. Okay, you guys can see the bottom there. We are pretty even side to side. I like to kind of make sure, right? We're doing a, a decent job here. Okay, so stamping. We are going to have some fun with our stamping here, ladies. Okay, so check out this fun little scene that I made with, right, the appropriately named Seasonic Pumpkin Patch Stamp Set. Okay, so we've got our little house and our little fence, added our little fall trees and some clouds, lots and lots of fun. Used some of that iconic Celebrations Designer Series paper with the pretty fall leaves on it because I thought that just kind of made it pop nicely there. Okay, so, oh, and then also, we used, these are the adhesive back to dragonflies and birds. So I've got a few left in here, right? But that's what we use to kind of accent our, um, our page there also. Okay, so this is, I think I've showed you guys this before, but this is the iconic Celebrations uh, Designer Series paper. Let's flip through here real quick though so you guys can see. So this is actually not part of the paper share because it is available right now through our online exclusives. So that's a way, if you're thinking about ordering, you could order some of these online exclusive products. You don't have to wait until September 4th because they are available right now. But that's that cute paper. That's been fun to play with. Okay, that's not gonna go back in there easily, so we're not gonna worry about that right now. Okay. This, this. Okay, so check out, we've got, oh, we do have some die cutting too. I'm like, lots of, Fun stamping. I haven't done this kind of stamping in a while. We've been really like simple stamping with sentiments, um, but this is going to be a fun builder set here. Okay, so let's move this guy out of the way. So let me tell you guys about dimensions first. We have our crumb cake cardstock, right? So here's a full sheet of cardstock. On the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. And there's our, as always, nice crisp fold on our card, right? Then we have the iconic Celebrations Designer Series paper. Love that stripe too, right? I always like to mention as I'm talking about this too, all of the colors, dimensions, everything product-wise that I used, including product item numbers, will be on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K. So that's gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. So if you would like to order any of these products to make these projects, know that you will get um, both of these cards as a thank you from me if you order online as well. So you could get these cards, order the stamp set, and maybe some of these pretty embellishments if you need some ink pads, the designer series paper. You can make more of these projects um, with your sample that I'll send you right there. Okay, so this designer series paper measures five and a quarter by four inches. And then I basically have scraps of that is crumb cake and white and then more basic white on the inside, okay? So that's what we've got here. Crumb cake and a couple pieces of basic white cardstock right there, okay? Uh, let's see, here we go. We are, I think we're gonna do, we're gonna do our die cutting. These are the, what are these called, right? The deckled rectangle dies. You can't really see right there, but we used not the largest one, but the next three largest or what we are going to do our die cutting with, okay? Because this second largest one goes right there on the inside, and then these two, there's crumb cake, and there's white. Okay, so let's do this die cutting, and then we're going to have fun with our stamping, okay? All right. Let me grab this. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, we'll do this one first. Okay. Ooh, that barely fits. I should have cut that a little bit bigger for myself. <laughs> Boy, I didn't give myself much room for error on that one, did I? But I think we are going to be just fine. Okay. So we've got that one. And we've got this one and this one, right? Okay. So then we're going to do our crumb cake and our other smaller basic white. Okay. Cranking this baby through here a couple times. 
and you guys have seen these, right? The little deckled, like it's kind of like we ripped the edges, right? Very cool though. Okay. Let's just scoot all of this out of the way. Oh, hi. <laughs> As they're being so quiet out there. I thought maybe they had left. Not Storm. Storm did not leave. We all know he's still here, right? Okay. Um, let's, we're going to grab this little guy here too. Because I think that helps to stamp on. Do you guys ever do this, right? Um, stamp on your little stamp and pierce mat. Sometimes I think that's helpful. Let's bring the card back over here so I know what I'm doing. We're going to stamp our thinking of you to kind of get our, I don't know, our stampin' mojo going I guess I'll say okay so oh and actually you guys need to know where is that okay that sentiment is from the everyday greetings stamp set so here is our little thinking of you right here I have I think I've used this at least once if not a couple of times but this is another one of our online exclusives that obviously you can build lots of great sentiments with the stamp set hello Miss Gay and welcome welcome thanks for joining us Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do our nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We are going to press straight down, lift straight up. And isn't that, like, look at the font, right? Love that beautiful cursive font. Okay, so we've got that one. Next, and you know what else I need to do? Where is some scrap paper? Because we need to stamp off a little bit. I think I've got some right here. Okay. Ooh, that's a mess. But that's okay. All right, here we go. So, um, yeah, we're going to just put that right here. We're going to bring that. Can you guys kind of see that too? Okay, so first of all, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put this underneath here, there, because I believe we are going to stamp first with our Mossy Meadow ink. We're going to scoot this one out of the way. We're going to build this whole scene, okay? So we're going to use this stamp right here first to stamp kind of our grass. And this is one that I stamped off. So I'm going to ink this up, stamp it down there. And then, and this is where I'm saying, like, the camera is right about where, <laughs> where I want to put my head, ladies. So bear with me and let's just say a little prayer that um all this stamps out well <laughs> okay next we are going to do our little house let's just close this one up I'm trying to stay very organized here but let's see what do we need our crumb cake yeah we're going to use our crumb cake ink going to stamp our little teeny tiny house on our hill right so we're going to do that right about there and it's supposed to look kind of um, not perfect, I guess I would say. So can you kind of see that? It's supposed to look a little, um, I don't know, I always want to say that, like watercolor wash a little bit. And then we're also going to stamp our trees in crumb cake ink. And again, I will list everything that I've used on these, like color-wise, will all be on my blog, right, at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so we got that one, we got that one. Next, we are going to stamp in early espresso ink. Teresa, hello and welcome. We are going to do the roof and kind of the smoke coming out. Ooh, -hoo! actually, I think that's even better than the other one. Look at that, wow. Very impressed with how that turned out. Okay, <laughs> probably shouldn't get ahead of myself though. Okay, so now we're gonna stamp. This is um, kind of a cute fence, but also I feel like you could use it on like Halloween projects. Doesn't it look a little like you could make black fencing and make it like look a little bit scary somehow? <laughs> okay, so I think we're good with our early espresso. Next, we are going to stamp our trees okay so we're going to start with crushed curry ink we're going to do the leaves on our trees and we're going to just tap 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 and we're going to press that and then i kind of went in order of colors so that like if i had a little bit of crushed curry ink on here it's not going to be a big deal when i put that same stamp into my pumpkin pie ink okay so we're going to do that one and stamp that one there I'm going to kind of clean that off and then we are going to use our 
Cajun Craze ink for our last tree. So we've got these beautiful fall trees, right? Put that one right there. Okay. What do you guys think? So far, we're doing we're doing a pretty good job, I'd say. Lastly, I want to add some pool party ink. Okay, let's kind of just do that right there, right? We're going to add pool party ink on our clouds. And I'm going to stamp these off also because I don't, I want, because that's pretty dark, right? And I don't want it to be too dark on here, right? So we're going to just kind of randomly stamp our clouds around. There we go. Okay. Beautiful, huh? Check that scene out. Isn't that kind of fun? So it's just building this whole scene, this whole kind of fall on the farm scene with your stamp set. So how fun, right? Um, okay, I think we are ready to, let's actually clean things off real quick so that we don't get ink all over everything, okay? Because I think I'm going to use this one again on our next project. So we're just going to clean all these. I think that's the only one, but this will help make sure that I'm all ready to go for our next project if I just do this right now and how quick and easy right it is when you use your chamois to kind of clean things off you just rinse this in your sink um I have heard of people running it in the like in their dishwasher too I've never done that but because I think it comes clean enough if you just rinse it in your sink okay we also need some scissors and some adhesives so let's grab these this one this one this one okay all right so first of all we are going to add our leaf the iconic imagery designer series paper we're going to pop that right onto our card base okay and then we can also put this piece on so all of our deckled pieces, right? We're gonna put our basic way onto our crumb cake, flip that over, and we are gonna add some dimensionals. So we're gonna do that. And then also, where's the other white one? Did it get, I feel like I, oh yeah, right here. Like I thought I maybe put it in my little tub trying to get clings cleaned up. But we're gonna put this one on the inside. And you, I think you could even use, let's take a look at that. I think you maybe could use this. That one would really, I guess, yeah, you could have. So you could use the very largest deckled rectangle also. I kind of liked having a little bit of that crumb cake edge showing around there. I think that's just kind of a fun symbol. You could add, maybe do the bigger one and add a little bit more of a scene inside there too if you wanted. Okay, so for this one, I actually did use the linen thread. Okay, we're gonna actually um, put this on first and then we're gonna tie our little bow around here, okay? So we've got that. So just a beautiful thinking of you card, right? And we're gonna tie a bow here. Looks like I need some more linen thread. Need to put that on the list. I do use this very regularly, I would say. Okay, so here we go. Can we get a bow? If I flip that over maybe. Let's actually scoot that. Okay, I just needed a little texture, I thought. And so this doesn't really detract from the card, I didn't feel. It just kind of adds, like I said, a little bit of... We're going to try that again. A um, little bit of texture and movement on the card, right? And then also our birdies, too, will do that. Okay, so here we go. We've got that one there. So just kind of, this is just supposed to be a little bit of like a random bow on here, however you like, and you could always trim that off. We will kind of pull it down a little bit. There we go. So that is that. And then we are going to add a few of these little buddies here, our little birds, right? Because again, I thought it just maybe needed a little, a little something, a little texture. Okay. Put that bird right there. And then let's do one more 
These are a little bit smaller, so I think they fit a little bit better. They're all flying to the trees, right? So there we, oops. <laughs> so I get so um, kind of concentrating on what I'm doing that I, oops, excuse me, don't realize like if I'm way up here or way, <laughs> way out of the camera. <laughs> I think if I'm working on here, I have a pretty good chance of you guys being able to see what I'm doing. So again, there is our first little scene card with our scenic pumpkin patch stamp set. All right, so let me, I want to show you guys the next one also, because we have one more fun project to make. All right, let's scoot this stuff out of the way. And here we go, ladies. Now this one, we did a little bit of masking. I'm going to show you how you do that with the fence so you don't um, like stamp the fence on your little pumpkins there. But I loved, I saw kind of an idea and I see these all the time too, right? With the white or vanilla card base and then um, just embossed like the leaves. Thank you, Lori. I'm glad that you are enjoying these projects with a little hello and then just those cute little pumpkins, right? We're all, I think, kind of getting excited about fall, right? Maybe the, well, the cooler nights that are already happening already, right? Okay, so let me get my little stamps out here too. So we are all ready to go. And again, let me tell you guys about some dimensions here. Let's get that one right there. Okay, so we have our thick white cardstock. And again, along the 11 inch side, cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. There we go. So that one is a tall card. So same, you guys know that though, right? So it's either a wide card or a tall card, but it's all cut the same way. All right, next we have a piece of, this is a regular basic white cardstock that measures four inches and then it's by five and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter is our little layer. And we're gonna emboss that. You guys can see right with the leaves, that's the layering leaves embossing folder. That I believe is an online exclusive as well. Um, it's this one right here. Oh, actually it's the leaf fall 3D embossing folder. So you can see it's kind of like leaves um, kind of falling, right? And they're, so this top and bottom part um, don't actually emboss. When you look, can you kind of see that? There's no embossing right here or kind of down in the corner because the leaves are falling, right? Um, okay, and then basically pieces of pumpkin pie and basic white for our stamping and die cutting. So we are, we're going to stamp our hello on this one, but then these two we're going to cut our circles and do our stamping right on our white circle after we die cut, which is not how I usually do things. Um, this time we are using, instead of rectangles, we're using the deckled circle dies. So we'll get these three pulled out. Yeah, so those three are what we're using there. Okay, um, so we're going to stamp our hello in copper clay ink. And again, this sentiment is from, did I, where did I put that stamp set? It's the everyday greeting stamp set that I show you. Oh yeah, it's right here the everyday greetings stamp set. So here's your little hello right here. That's what we're using on this project. Okay, let's see, where is it now? They're hard to tell, like when they're, well, you can't even see, right? But they're all like right here, but they're all like upside down because I don't want to put the stamp down on the glass mat because then sometimes they stick. There we go. But isn't that, look at, more awesome font, right? The little hello. Okay, so our copper clay and then we'll do our die cutting and embossing too. Okay. So let's do that. Die cutting. And we're going to emboss that piece. Okay. Scoot those out of the way. All right. Here we go, ladies. I wonder, do you think we can get all three of these on here at once? We're going to try. I think maybe we can actually. Yeah. We're going to be able to do that. No problem. So our pumpkin pie, our basic white, those just need to be on the cardstock. And then this one we wanna kinda get centered on there. Okay, so we're gonna do this die cutting of all of our circles, and then we're gonna come back and we are going to do our embossing. 
So let's just pop these out. You guys can see these guys, right? So our duckled circles, those are gonna just layer and then you can almost see them a little bit better on that one, right? Okay, now, Our embossing so we need the other platform for again can you guys kind of see that we're gonna put this let me look at the card too right so how did I do it's funny now I'm looking like how did I do that I think I put it in did I do it this way <laughs> I think we're gonna just emboss it and see what happens? Maybe I tried to, I think I tried to get most of it embossed actually. There we go. So we'll do it that way right there. It doesn't really matter. Honestly, you could emboss as much or as little as you want and everyone can look a little bit different and that is okay too. So let's see what we've got. Yeah. Can you see? Beautiful, huh? The leaf fall 3D embossing folder is what that one is. Okay. Now... We're going to bring our little platform, stamping platform, right, with our little stamp and pierce mat and scrap paper because I know I'm going to go over the edge of things, right? Okay, where's my card? Let's bring that back in here. You guys can kind of see it too, right? Okay, so this time we are going to start with some old olive ink to stamp our grass. There, you guys can all see, right? I think I did. Did I stamp off? I'm gonna. I honestly can't remember if I did or not, but we're going to. So there we go. Yep. Okay, so old olive for our... Actually, we're gonna need that again, aren't we? For our little tops of our pumpkins, our little stems, right? Okay, and then... I didn't even use that one, did I? So I'm going to put that one away so I don't get confused. Okay, so then the five little pumpkins we're going to stamp right there. And then actually I did stamp on the inside of the card too, so we're going to do that right now also. So let's just go ahead and stamp those right there. And then we are going to grab our little curly cues and we're going to kind of add a few of these to our pumpkins, right? Okay. And we will add them right here as well. Okay. Now, the little trick for the fence, and let's just maybe say a little prayer, ladies, that this works well. Um, and where did it go? Yep, right here. Okay. So we made a card similar to this at our Simple Beautiful Card class the other day. Was it even last Friday? No, it was the Friday before. So I have a little mask here, right? So that when I stamp this, so that my fence, when I ink this up, I don't want my fence to go over top of my pumpkins, right? So I'm going to kind of lay that little mask right on there. And is that what I'm going to do? I'm going to stamp this just about like that. And let's see, so the extra ink ends up on my mask and not on my pumpkins. How about that, huh? Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, awesome. I'm glad that, oh, that's so sweet. Okay, thank you very much that you think this is fun. I'm so glad. So hopefully you already have this stamp set or some version of it and you can have some fun making these projects as well, right? So there we go. There's our little... Um, I love just that little fence, right? So yeah, and and so this basically stamped and then I cut it out so that I can kind of lay it right on top of there for my mask. So very simple kind of technique there too. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna add a little bit of adhesive and pop that one there. And then we're gonna put a couple dimensionals behind both of these guys, right? So ladies, don't you think Mike's being really well behaved? He just came in and said hello, and now he's being super quiet. So that was very nice of him, right? <laughs> As opposed to Storm, who's, who's been barking a fair amount. He's quiet right now, so I probably should um, not jinx myself on that one, right? Okay, so I think we're going to put this one. We're going to add that one right there, right? OK, 
Okay, then we're gonna peel the backings off of these. And we're gonna put that little guy there. And our little hello can go right about there. And then, so this was the fun that we had, right? Um, did I even, no, nope, I don't. I was thinking maybe I had um, something already. I think I pulled it apart, it's somewhere else. But so basically if you cut, ooh, do I even need to cut? No, I guess you don't, right? Well, I think it is easier if you kind of cut this first layer right here. Hello, Miss Diane. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. So if you just kind of cut along here, if you need, sometimes it kind of pulls on its own. So you just kind of keep helping it. But this is the basic idea, right? Oops, I think I might have snipped that off. And sometimes that happens so that then you just have your next layer. So you have this kind of outer edge that you can use to, right? So you just kind of keep cutting along here and you can just kind of keep cutting if it's not coming easily, but that's the idea. So you just pull that off, right? So this is the end of one. Can you kind of see the little fibers in there? So I've already pulled pretty much all of it off. So I'm just gonna pull that little baby like that. And actually this one was long enough that I could double this up and then make a bow with this one right here. So we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do with this, right? Flip that, so you just kind of use both of these pieces as if you're working with one piece to make your bow. And then you just pull this one through here and kind of fan those out a little bit. And there's our cute little bow, right? So we're gonna clip that trim that, scoot all of that out of the way. I'm gonna grab a mini glue dot. And here we go. We're gonna just put our little, little bow right there. We'll scoot these guys out of the way too, right? So again, you can see there's a lot more kind of texture to this thread when you pull it apart from our polka dot trim as opposed to our linen thread. They're both great. This one's maybe mm, a little bit more brown and that's almost a little more gray now that I'm looking at it, right? So yeah, there we go, ladies. So those are our projects for today, right? As always, I love to recap, especially if you don't have, right, this scenic pumpkin stamp set, right? If you order online, spend at least $50 through me using our host code right here, the J-M-S-B-W-H-B-S. You're gonna get both of these fun projects as a thank you from me. Your name is entered into the draw to win this is beautiful there it is now you guys can see it the right way right inspiring snapdragon stamp set you also get to pick from the free tutorial or the free embellishment right bump your order up to a hundred dollars and you get five free cards as well so so much good stuff as a thank you for your order so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed these cards i think um, everyone needs this beautiful scenic pumpkin stamp set. So much fun to play with. So thank you guys. Have a great weekend. Have a great Labor Day weekend next weekend too. And we'll see you back here the beginning of September, two weeks from today. We'll be back live again. All right. Thanks guys for hanging out with me. Bye.